oh, 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 baby. For uh, the 146th pick, I will take Lars Bang every day. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Welcome to episode 15 of this Hamilton Tigers franchise mode. Today, guys, we are coming off a very disappointing first round loss in the playoffs, and it, it, it happens sometimes. Like, yeah, you can't win them all, but it would have been nice to at least beat Toronto when we were up on them 3 to nothing. Yeah, we really blew it. We really blew it. We scored 18 goals against them in three games. And then I'm pretty sure in the next four, we didn't combine for 18. So, yeah, that's pretty rough, but it happens. Um, heading into the draft, I don't think we've got all that much we want to do as far as targeting players or anything like that goes. Obviously, some players would be nice to pick up. Um I actually can't remember who we have pinned here, if we had anybody or not. This Sanders guy, maybe. That's that's not a lot of uh, not a lot of options here. I gotta say, we do have a goalie here to pin or to pin to watch. But yeah, um, definitely not a ton of great options available. We've definitely seen better in the past. And, I mean, even a guy like that would be all right. Same with PRV. It's hard to tell who's really going to turn out or not. Lars Bang. That's, I, I think I remember we were looking at him earlier. Overall, though, really not a lot of options uh, heading into the draft. So, honestly, it's going to be more of a blind draft this year. We don't really need a lot of pieces, to be completely honest. But um, we're probably going to be looking to move guys like, oh, I don't know, like Tarasenko. Honestly, if we could bring in a centerpiece, we don't need to. Like, we have um, Justin Ganey here. I think he will be just fine heading into the next season and honestly our team is just about ready for us to have complete and total kind of control over like where not where players are playing but um total control over the lineup as far as only our players are going to be in the lineup like only our drafted players um Especially when it comes to guys like Colton Pareko, who's played three seasons with us now, I believe. Yeah, that was his third and final year. Actually, his worst on record, too. As far as Deline goes, that was only his second, so we do have one more year with him. Um, Travis Dermott, that was his second year as well. Okay, so we are good to keep these two, but Pareko is done. As far as tendies go, um, I think we picked up Blackwood, yeah, just last season. Same thing with Carter Hart, actually, he, not exactly. He's only got one more year left, too. So, we got some trades we can work around with. Try to figure some things out here. Maybe bring in a winger that, you know, fits uh, that second line role a little bit better because, well, to be honest, Coloma and... Um, What's his name? Coloma and Bjorkstrand really don't fit our system all that well. So that is the other thing that's kind of bugging me still as far as how our team fits and when it comes to our second line. Like 70%, Asher Hillen is in a very good spot right now as far as our entire team goes. But he's got carry, shoot, efficient, don't block for the second line. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's any wingers that are really like that. Carry, shoot, efficient, don't block. That's just that's weird. I don't think any of those are similar. Honestly... 
Nylakinen there might be all right. Nico Nylakinen, he's big too. Wow. Um, Emerson doesn't really fit. Haken or Haken doesn't really fit. And Ralph Retzer, yeah, again, doesn't really fit. Um, so maybe. Maybe we try to trade up for Nyla Kynan. Maybe swap like, uh, what's his name? Swap like Tarasenko possibly, even though, yeah, we do want to try to win. We do also want to kind of move pieces out, get better pieces back for the future because that's what this team is about really. And honestly, it might be smart to just trade certain guys for draft picks in the future guys like i mean i don't want to trade topi coloma i think he's a really good player still and i think he's got a lot of uh opportunity on this team but with other guys here you know taking these high elite roles and stuff like that it's hard to find spots for this many different good players like you can see when we move bjorkstrand up that doesn't work when we move coloma up that doesn't work even when we move Savan down, that doesn't work. So yeah, it is uh, it is a bit of a struggle. Honestly, maybe we could see Hillen out a little sooner than expected. I feel like that is a possibility still, but at the same time, the lineup doesn't look all that bad. Like, I'm pretty happy with it still. It's just guys like Walton... And Nylander, I do want to get moving up into the team more. And yeah, that's really about it. So yeah, maybe we'll try to swing a trade for Nyla Kynan here. We really don't need more elite wingers at this point, but that's a possibility. So, as you can see there, the Carolina Hurricanes are your Stanley Cup champions. The Charlotte Checkers are your Calder Cup champions. And, um, yeah. So, I have to say, it has been a pretty well-rounded uh, franchise mode so far, as no team has won the Cup twice since we started this franchise mode. We've had Detroit, Vegas, Washington, Chicago, Tampa, and now Carolina have all won it so that's been interesting to see for sure um as you can see st louis jumps six picks minnesota jumps 10 and uh that's a little rough buffalo went down one but they didn't really lose out on the lottery uh florida is an option there so maybe we could work a deal with the bister and carter hart possibly um i think that's definitely doable minnesota also up there but, uh, yeah, again, we fail our goal to win the Stanley Cup. And obviously that has been kind of the biggest issue so far. Um, overall, I would say it's just been kind of tough as a franchise mode here for us to really go anywhere. We haven't had the greatest draft picks. or I mean, we have had the greatest draft picks. Don't get me wrong on that, but... There's like no centers in this draft. Wow. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that we just go and trade players for picks. Because we got options. Don't get me wrong there. We have options for players. Um, but it's more just the fact that players aren't very good in this draft. So... So yeah, I mean overall, shoot, okay, this this draft's looking weird, and wow, that is a big retiree class. Look at all the guys over a thousand points there: Kovalchuk, Bergeron, Giroux, Backstrom, Kopitar, Thornton. Wow, that is that is a crazy, crazy retiree class. Never mind T.J. Oshie at eight hundred points as well. 
That's that's absurd. Okay. Um, Henrik Lundqvist with tires with almost 600 wins all time. Holy jeez, buddy. Holy. And that's more than 50% he was winning. Uh, ben Bishop retires with 364. Halak retires with over 300. And then Reimer's the next closest at 200. Wow. That was an insane retiree class. Uh, Kopitar became a coach there. Did we lose anybody here as far as coaches go? Doesn't look like it. All right, so that's good. Um, I, I just hate draft interviews in general. I'm not very impressed with those. Oh, shoot, so we can't trade Carter Hart. He's got no value because he's got no contract. But Matsumoto, fortunately, is a high elite defender there. Darlene really dropped down. So that's not great. Um, yeah, and honestly, a guy like Tarasenko isn't super high value anymore either. There's a couple guys here that are not super high value. Um, I feel like Bjorkstrand might be the first to go here, even though he was one of our first draft picks. He was a 2021 draft pick. Okay. Who else was in the same kind of year there? Leopold, right? We picked him number two behind Matsumoto. But yeah, um, <laughs> that's another thing we haven't had is a lot of like late round kind of steals like Samsonov. We haven't had to grow players crazy amounts. They've already been good coming into our team, and uh, that has been fortunate for us. So I don't think I'm really going to put anyone up on the block. I think we're just going to trade players as they are. And I think we might have pick 19 or 18 there. But as you can see, our goalies hold zero value as well. So that's a pain in the butt. Um, so yeah, going into this draft, we've got a couple players that we kind of want to target. Uh, that Nyla Kynan, I think, would be kind of perfect for our top six. So we're going to... You know, try to swing a deal with Buffalo. Um, another team we could try to do a deal with is Florida, just because I'm kind of interested in their goalie. That was, you know, our old goalie. So I just want to see what pick numbers we have available right now, too. I also noticed kind of how few uh, picks we had when it comes to like later on in the draft so not later on but like kind of the mid rounds where i was had a lot of target players but looking at buffalo here there's a couple guys that they would prefer um so we could offer them robert bjorkstrand in exchange for this second i think that would be a good trade just straight up if we can do that and that's rejected so not spectacular there. I don't want to have to offer other guys in this deal, but we're probably going to have to. A guy like Pareko, and that's too much for them. Okay. Um, who's this guy? Philpula. Arizona draft pick. Never heard of him before. We just grab like an AHL piece. A guy like Boyle or somebody maybe. That would actually be alright. Then we can trade him once he gets better, if he gets better. And still rejected. Wow. They don't they do not want to trade that second. Um somebody worse, like Carpenter maybe. Yikes. Okay. Um Maybe we are sending multiple players one way or the other here. Uh, we could throw Tarasenko in there too, but that's a lot of money. And we're definitely going to have to sort by the most uh, valued contracts. So a guy like Sherratt would be just fine. If we could take him, yeah, that's expensive still. Like, that's a lot to pay 
to bring in one winger that we're interested in. But Bjorkstrand has kind of just gotten particular and particularly progressively worse. Same thing with Tarasenko since he started playing here. And uh, yeah, let's try this. Wow. Two elites for one. And they reject it. I understand why now. Um, Jesus. Is that really the level of winger we're dealing with here? Okay. So maybe we're going all in. Just say screw it. We are going to go Bjorkstrand, Tarasenko, and Pareko in exchange for two nobodies plus their draft pick. Yikes. Actually, I'm going to try to get this Boyle guy still. Let's go Boyle plus... Oh, where's the other guy? Sherratt. I have not seen him right now. Right there. All right. That's not enough. Um, <laughs> we have to go Sherratt plus, like, Zucker, maybe, or Zucker. We're going to have to go Sherratt and Zucker to get this deal done. Actually, no, not Zucker. Can we go Kajula and Thompson? They're still over the max. Holy crap. Okay. Him plus him plus him. That should be enough to get the deal through. Oh my god, they reject it still. <laughs> Alright, throw the 18th in on top. If this doesn't get it done... Well, that stinks. Um, I'm pushing that deal, and they're not taking it. So we, I'm going to try one more thing. This is like the last thing. I know Coloma has been really damn good for us, and so has Bjorkstrand. But at this point, guys, like I'm just trying to get this deal done, and they're not taking anything. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to grab Kajula there. That's a no-brainer. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. But a lot of teams are sitting there like, why did you just trade those guys? They were depth forwards for us. Yes, I know they were. But now we have other options to trade for here. Um, obviously, Nyla Kynan is going to be the big winger we're bringing in. Uh, but... I am looking at Florida here too with a couple nice pieces that we are looking to acquire here. That being, well, we could also go for the 30 or 43rd pick. Um, so if we could snag those three picks plus, uh, where's the goalie? Yeah, Bister. He doesn't even have that great of value right now. And then trade like Blackwood plus... Let's try, um, let's see, Blackwood plus Tarasenko is not enough value, and they're way over the cap, too. Shoot. Okay, get rid of the 12th, maybe. They have 7.9 million in cap space, okay. And they have a lot of players that are not worth their cap. Um, really? Okay, Hinnestrosa plus, like, Wilson, I don't know. Take some on, like, useless wingers on here. I think we'd have to throw Pareko in here, too. And then that just throws him right back over the salary cap. So we can't go with Wilson. We gotta go with, like, I would say Mulgan. But does he fit third line? He does. That would be perfect. Except we're still over the cap. Oh, Tarasenko's contract's awful. Like, it actually is. Oh my gosh, okay. What other value pieces do we have here? For players I'm actually willing to trade... Not that many, but we 
We could try throwing a guy like... I don't want to throw Vasakis on there, but we might have to. Okay, let's try this. If it doesn't go, obviously that makes sense. And uh, they want more. Can we just get rid of the 43rd? Try that. Nope. Ugh. I want to see guys like Vasakis and Prokop and those guys grow into actual NHL players, but... They're really not giving me a ton of options here. So let's try trading like 260 kind of rated players here in this deal as well. If that doesn't go, then nothing's going to. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we gotta exit. I, I see the time there, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna make our pick still. So let's try this. Go Nyla Kynan. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We gave up that much. Oh, and you know the next guy's gonna be like 80. Yeah. Wow. Wow is all I have to say. Oh my gosh. That was beautifully brutal. <laughs> Jesus. Can we go like Pareko plus the 18th? In exchange for a Bister plus the, oh, I don't know, like a Bister plus the 43rd. Actually, just that should go. No, they want a little more, of course. Um, let's throw a third rounder in there next year. There we go. So that's actually a pretty decent deal um, for what we got. We got a Bister back, so that's good. Uh, besides that... You know, we could try to, uh, ooh, they take Retzer there. I don't know if that's the best decision, but okay. Any chance that we can offload Tarasenko to the Islanders? That's very possible. Uh, any chance we can get more than what is available there? Possibly. They got Lucas Raymond there too, jeez. Um... Hey, there's Petrangelo. Oh, right, we traded him a couple years back. Let's try to land, like... What would work well? Like, 119th in there is two. Plus, like... You know, if we could get the 29th in that deal is two, like, holy crap, that would be a steal for getting rid of Tarasenko. Nope. Okay, what about just the 4th and the... Like the 119th and the 5th. Rejected still. Wow. One for one? Nope. <laughs> I love how hard these teams defend their picks. It's actually interesting. <laughs> um, okay. What if we try this instead with the Islanders? bit more of a risky deal but could definitely pay off still if we do it right so these two picks plus their first rounder next year in exchange for Tarasenko possible but unlikely what if we get rid of the 22nd let's try that not sufficient at all <laughs> oh man all right, so they don't really want him. It's fine. We can we can deal with another year of Tarasenko. Um, and yeah, eh, we're not going to get all the picks I wanted, but that's fine. Let's see what this draft had coming up to pick 18. Lutzer was good. Um, oh, Fiddler was good. Pratt was good. And the Islanders missed on the Elite. How do you do that? Like, just how do you do that? That is a whole nother level of talent. Wow. So I was looking at Wheeler. Doesn't really fit. I think we're better off with Chandler Sanders, to be honest. And yeah, that's the guy we're going to select. We could take a 
fat risk on Wagner. I'm not going to. I'm going to take the guarantee. And 64, that's not too bad. Moving over to pick 43, we do miss on a couple guys. Oh, Svedberg. Holy jeez. Why? Why is he so much better than the rest of the guys? I don't understand. And what did we miss? Wheeler was okay. Camper, yeah, he didn't turn out. But if he had been an elite, oh, I would have been bad. <laughs> um, so I don't think we have a lot of other options here. Where's our next pick? Is it 82? Um, shit. <laughs> I do want to take the risk on two bird there, even though he's probably just going to be like a medium top nine forward. Um, I still want to take that risk. So we need to trade for like the 76th around there. Where is this Vancouver pick? That's pick number 73. Honestly, that's not bad. Does Vancouver have any interest in Tarasenko? They do. Ooh. See, here we go. Now we got a chance. How are can a deal? Jesus Christ, Quinn Hughes. How are you that good? That is insanity. Isn't Zimmerman? No. They drafted him. Never mind. Um... Wow, they got a lot of picks in there. I want their first rounders for the next two years in this deal, and then I want... He's just got a stupidly huge contract. That is not worth it, like slaving, maybe. Still too much. Um, slaving plus... I don't know, like you levy? Bukestad, probably. That's still not enough money. Jeez. Okay, but let's go with Letty. Man, if that deal doesn't go through, then I don't know what will. Okay, so that's that's good. That's that's fine. Um bit of a pain in the butt deal to be honest, but it works. So we're going to take this guy here first, the goalie, and he is an elite. Nice. Okay. Um, and we're going to go to pick 73. How is he 69 rated low top four? How does that happen? Somebody explain to me. Holler would have been alright. Not seeing anybody crazy here. Kerman would have been alright too. Crane. Wow, that's a nice pick. Peyton Crane. Jeez. Okay, so. We're going to take this guy here. We're going to take the risk on him. Derek Tuber. Or Tubert. Sorry, my bad. And he's a medium nine. Nice. <laughs> totally worth trading. Uh, what's his name for? And Haskins would have been way better. Are you kidding me? Cool. All right. So yet again, we are going to go tremendously off the board and the guy I was looking at was where is he 
Was it Tarvinen? No, it was not. It was that guy there. Jimmy Kearns. Seriously doubtful of how he's going to turn out, but... Yeah, I don't want to take another goalie. That just gets boring after a while, but so do the low potentials. And he's a medium top six defender. Yay. Jeez. Of course, of course, Stumple. Out of all the guys, he looked the least promising, and he's the elite. I actually, like, I hesitated on him for a second. I was like, oh, Stumple might be something. I was like, no, there's no way. <sighs> Prove me wrong. And he did. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm going to take PRV here just because screw it. Why not? And dear God. Okay, pick 146. We we got like nothing picks now for the rest of the draft. To be completely honest, Bang's kind of the one guy that I want to pick still. And besides that, all these low elites are not worth our time. Niemi would be. Um, never mind. Maybe some of these elites are worth our time. Uh, <laughs> Like, you're just getting lucky at this point if you actually pick a player that's good. And Bang is a... Oof, oh, oh, oh. Guys, I told you Lars Bang was a like a no-mess prospect, and uh, that proved to be... Oh, 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 baby. For uh, the 146th pick, I will take Lars Bang every day. Jeez. What a crazy pick. That's on a whole nother level. <laughs> Man. Can you go for Caden Yoshi? Could go for Ernest Jennings. I'm kind of feeling like Jennings might actually be the guy to go with here. And he's bottom six forward. Nice. Okay. Got a couple more picks here. I think we got two more. And they're all going to be weak when we compare them to Lars Bang. Because that was just such a damn good pick. Wait, there's another medium elite in here. Or was that just Stumple? No, Pelly was an elite goalie. Okay. So yeah, in comparison to the rest of this sixth round, a 69 rated two-way defenseman is definitely a good selection um i'm not gonna get over that that was one of the biggest steals of our draft not just our draft but our entire series here man that's a steal like that really is um how many more picks we got after this one i think we got one more yes we do all right so we're gonna take that other guy that i saw yoshi i believe his name is um where is he? There he is. Caden Yoshi. Screw it. Why not? Right? And they're all medium bottom six forwards. Love it. Oh, okay. Cool. Pitkinen goes right there. I, I would have appreciated that. Um, But we're going to take Niemi here because we actually have some scouting on him. And, okay, well, he was almost guaranteed to be a low elite. But instead, not as spectacular, a medium top four. Or a low top four defenseman, Yoshida. Jeez. That would have been nice as well. Another low elite in Woods. Man, how many centers are there? Cedric Woods was insane. Passy Pitkanen, that's a sick name as well. I swear to God, if another elite goes here. I don't think we're going to see any more low elites, but you never know. It's NHL. Low top six and Addison there. And there's the other low elite. I was waiting for one. 
Second last pick, Reed Slater. Actually not a bad selection at all. That was a strong freaking draft. Lars Bang, obviously the highlight of the draft. Um, Sanders was okay. Uh, Ty Paulus was not very good. Same with Tubert. And yeah, Nikola, or Nyla Kynan. Um, he's going to be all right. Don't get me wrong. Like He will eventually grow into the role he's supposed to. But from an 84 to a 79, that's a significant drop off when we saw we were misled with the ratings there on the prospects. So this is the year where Slaney becomes an RFA, and I'm glad we did clear up that cap space in time. We got 31 million to spend here on some big names. He only wants a two year deal. I want to give you an eight year deal, maybe a seven at like 10 million. Honestly, a $70 million contract for Esteban Slaney is not that bad. I would be just fine with that. Uh, Jakob Slavin, we see we could sign these guys. I don't want to. I honestly don't want to sign these guys. Slavin wants to play for our team. I have absolutely no idea where he's going to fit. And honestly, maybe we just trade him for like a draft piece. I don't want to give him a four-year deal. I'll give him a one-year, $6 million contract. And that's all he's getting. Nick Letty's walking. Uh, Braxton Walton, please sign that deal. That is an awesome deal. Uh, Jason Demers, I believe he's done, actually. We're letting him walk, yes? Yes or no? No, we can sign him for a single more season. He put up 55 points in the AHL, so definitely helping out down there. All right. Um, besides that, obviously, Ny Nylakinen. I keep saying Nykalinen, which is wrong. Nylakinen. Going to be all right. Venkateshin. Uh, let's give him a little more money. You know, he's he's a valuable player in this system. And who else? I believe we got some goalies we need to sign. Obviously, Lars Bang we were going to sign to. That's an insanely good player. Uh, 19 years old as well. Like, holy jeez. Coraluck will get him a deal. Uh, not going to sign uh, some... some Somskowitz. You could say Samoskowitz as well. Timonen, nope. And I think we are good with what we got there. Carter Hart does not want to sign, so there you go. Um, rip. We traded quite a bit for him. Didn't get anything in return, really. And yeah, just 35 wins. Or 38 wins in 79 games for this organization. I think we're actually all right letting him walk. If we're being completely honest, like, fine, go, see you later. Like, that's, that's kind of the attitude surrounding him. Uh, but, yeah, we won't be awful. Like, we won't be poorly off with um with Blackwood and Abister. I'm totally okay with that. And they're just well, they're not all younger, but Abister is younger. And then we got a guy like Sadikov coming up too. Alright, uh rest of the defensemen we're good with that I think. Yeah, they look just fine. Wingers also look just fine. We could sign shoots. I don't really want to yet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six options there on the right right wing. On the left wing, not as many. But hopefully Kajula could, you know, be a crucial piece somewhere eventually. Um and then centers, two, three, four. I think we are also playing um Gunler in there, so that should be alright. 
Jakobsen's probably going to get a single more season in the AHL for conditioning, and then he will be up in the NHL after that. Ganey, I think this is his year where he's coming up. And Popov, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's too many options there still. So obviously we're going to advance the day. Except I'm not interested. Awesome. So we don't have an AHL head coach. And our AHL associate coach does accept. So that's big. Our any AHL. Okay. Who? Huh? Okay. All right, so here we go. Jakob Slavin does sign with the organization for a single season. Nyla Kynan signs his rookie. Uh, Slaney signs the 70 million there. Demers signs one year. Bednar signs his three year. Same with Van Kateshin. Same with Sergey Korolev signs a one year. Walton signs a two year. Bang signs his entry level. And let's go to free agency. So we are going to need a new coach here for the AHL. Hey, hey, Timothy Winchester. Who's got the best system fit? 42% is the highest I've seen. Ooh, 43. Maybe. Okay, so let's go with this guy here, sign him up. Hopefully he signs. I don't want to have to interview coaches because that's a pain in the butt always. But as far as our trade block goes, yeah, um, just get some picks up there for sure. As far as defensemen go, I think... We want to offer some lower end guys on the block, guys like Demers and guys like like Niemi maybe, I don't know. We just have a lot of uh, defensemen there. All right, so I haven't looked at this free agent class, haven't looked to see who's available. There is one big winger there in Patrick Line. Who is this? Michael McLeod? Yeah. From New Jersey. Sergachev's only a medium four. That's strange. And honestly, there are not that many options. Wow. Everybody's like average. <laughs> Carter Hart's like the biggest uh, or highest value kind of guy there. Um, wasn't Iliakis one of our goalies? No, never mind. So if we have 17 million. What do we even spend it on? Line, I guess. Like... I don't want to have to go and keep cycling through wingers until we actually get everyone paid, but that's how it's looking right now. And honestly, when we look at the progress reports here, it's a little frustrating. Because we only have three centers right now by the looks of it. Uh, we got our wingers are set there. They're fine. Same with the right, but it is weak on the right, I have to say. I would much rather have Nyla Kynan playing in the NHL for a season here with a really good team 
than playing in the AHL with an average team. Um, I think we're going to trade Slavin for a draft pick pretty quickly. I don't think he's sticking around. And I think we go Bengoa and Dermot if we can. And a Bister Blackwood, that's I'm I'm okay with that. That that'll work. Alright, so Patrick Line it is to bolster the attack here. I don't want to give him seven years, but we just might have to. As he is so damn expensive. Try seven years at 11 million. Doesn't look like other teams want him, so we're taking a big risk there by doing that. Honestly, yeah, if that doesn't work out, I don't know what else we're doing. Probably just Carter Hart if that doesn't work out. So let's see. Does Line A want to sign? Sexsmith does not sign. Nice. That's stupid. Okay, whatever. It happens. We get rejected by a coach. Um, let's go with this next best AHL coach. And where is he? Not Winchester, but it was like... That guy right there, Alexander Payette. Let's give him a little extra money just to boost it and make sure that he signed. Oh, I did not want to hit that. Uh, honestly, I think he'd fit our team just fine. We'll give him extra money just to be sure, but yeah. Alright, so let's see if Line A signs here in the next day or two. And K. Payette signs. Does line A sign? I get the feeling we're going to get rejected. Alright, so yeah, he wants more money. There's no question on that. Any teams interested in Carter Hart now? No. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, there was one. Let's see who's interested. Where's Hart off to? Because we ain't signing him. He is going to New Jersey. Oh, okay. Interesting. So yeah, Line wants more money. There's no question on that. And he is 93 rated to be fair, so. Um You know, screw it. Let's give him a three year twelve million dollar contract. That should be good enough. Oh. Come on, Line A, let's just sign already. And there you go, Line A finally signs with the Tigers. So that's really going to wrap up our offseason. We don't need to do much else besides maybe find a trade for Slavin. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Even though he's actually got some half decent value here. Anybody want to trade a first? Nope. What if we go Slavin plus our own first rounder? Oh my god, if I hit X one more time, I'm gonna scream. <sighs> 
So there's nothing really available for Slavin at this point. So we'll wait till the end of the off season, see how he looks in our team, how he fits, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, next season, here we come. Starting off the next season, we've sold about 86% of our so That's pretty good. Um, not as spectacular as when we signed Tarasenko, but I think this team could actually have the potential to be a little more promising with, you know, younger line A players like that. Um, they want a new parking lot. They want a new team store. Or no, uh, upgrade team store. And then they want us to make the Stanley Cup final. So again, like every passing year here, this is now. Oh, God. yeah, we're heading into our seventh season now, guys. Seven, seven seasons. And it's just been disappointment after disappointment with this team. And it's like, it's really about time that we find some success. Because like, we just don't have any other options at this point. I actually really am impressed with how the lineup's looking right now. I think that's actually almost a championship caliber lineup right there. And um, definitely got no complaints with how that's looking. Uh, by the looks of it, Nyla Kynan kind of fits the second line, not like spectacularly well, but he'll he'll do, I guess. Honestly, this lineup's pretty good looking right now. Damn it, it's hard not to play Slavin when he's looking that good. Oh, fuck me. That chemistry's just so nice. Not just that, but Slavin fits everywhere too. Oh. That's hard to watch. <laughs> Damn it. We're gonna have to say no to Slavin, unfortunately. I want Ben Goa playing in here. Even if it's not as great on the chemistry side. Man, like we just you can't deal with that not being good like it, it has to <sighs> yeah no we'll, we'll be all right why the hell is Callie Jilson still in the AHL or Lars Dahl both those guys are good enough to be playing in the NHL Jeez, not entirely sure what my scouts do in there. Not my scout, my coach. Um, definitely questionable though. Hey, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Perfect combo. Honestly, it kind of is. And then we got Sadikov is lower rated. Okay. But he's considered a backup goalie. We're going to give him one more year in the AHL. Just to be sure. Damn it, I want Lars Bang playing, but we can't properly put him into this lineup yet. Because there's just so many other guys available. You know, Craig Pitt up, sub Emery out, throw Lars Bang in. He's a lefty, unfortunately, but. Alright, we gotta get some roster moves going so before i actually like show you guys any of the lines we got to get a couple roster moves done here nice and quick um the first one is going to be this amazing rookie we picked up last year cali jilson he's going to go up to the nhl while a guy like jason demers is going to get sent back down so yes we will have to fix the lines because of this but 
There's no problem with that. He fits just fine. All right, so that was kind of the one big move we had to do with this team. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the lines. We're going to change one thing on them, but this is essentially how the entire lineup is going to look for the season. I'm really hoping that this top line can mesh and put together a crazy good season. Honestly, same thing with the second line, man. We got a 95 and a 94 rated winger here. They got a fucking score. <laughs> like, I'm being blunt. They have to put the puck in the net. <laughs> we don't have other options. And then on defense, well, things look good. But I want Bengoa over. I want Dermot sitting. And I want Kelly Jilson in here instead. And he fits just fine because we drafted him for that purpose to fit very well in this team. If we go like this... That maintains the plus one chemistry, so that's huge for the future. If we move him up, it's still plus three. Okay. So, honestly, our defense is in such good shape right now. Like, we do not have to worry. Lars Dahl will... Uh, frick, man, he's good enough to play in the NHL this season, which is unfortunate because... We have slightly older guys like Ben Goa or slightly better guys like Jilson who have made the NHL now. I can guarantee they've made the NHL. I'm not going to move them. Um, and it's just it's too bad because hopefully Dahl doesn't regress at all. If he does, that's going to hurt, but it happens. Um, and we have other young talents coming up on the blue line too, like Lars Bang especially. He's a big name uh, player that we're going to be excited to see uh, besides that. That looks all really good. So guys, we did actually just make a trade. I don't know if it's going to show up here on the block. Um, I did realize my footage was crapping in and out. So let's see where it was. Player and pick trading right there. Okay, so we traded Slavin and Enroth, who's like a 66 rated 22 year old low top four defenseman in exchange for Jenner Juice and Arizona's first round pick this year. So I think I think that's all right for what we were doing there. Um, obviously, Slavin was not going to play in this team just based off of this defensive core we have. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, uh, Justin Ganey dropped two ratings from morale decreases there, but rest of the team's looking real fine. And uh, we also got some subs here as well, just in case injuries happen. So I'm ready to uh, jump into the full season sim for next episode, but we are going to uh, get to the regular season and just actually, no, we'll do that next episode. Next episode, we'll check out how good our team is how that's looking and uh should be a fun episode i mean this team is set up for success yet again such a good group of guys here that we should be able to win with them and uh yeah if you guys are enjoying this series so far please go down below leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and also make sure you leave a comment because those have been lacking so that's going to be it for me. This is Etanios signing out, and see ya.